Hi, uh, morning. Um, I have this little morning routine that I do just in case I don't have enough time to go for a run or for a walk in the morning, but I only have five or 10 minutes to do something and to get pumping before you start the day. This is what you can do at home. You can do some exercises for your legs and for your core. So what I normally do is I do squats and then I do single leg squats, left and right, and I do sumo squats. When I'm done with that, I move forward to do my core and I do some sit-ups, leg raises, and Russian twists. It all takes about seven, eight minutes, but rather than going through the actual routine, why don't I show you how it's done? So when you are doing your squats, make sure that your legs are shoulders apart. And as you bend, pretend as if you are sitting on the chair. So your, your quads should be parallel to the, to the floor, hands in front of you to keep the balance, core engaged, and stand up. So that's one squat. And you just, as you do them, worry about having the right shape rather than going fast. So you can do about 20 of those or whatever the number you feel. Then to exercise my glutes, I do single leg. So I stand on left leg, I use my right leg to balance and I bend my knee and lean forward and touch the floor. And then I come back straight. So again, I need to have my core engaged, otherwise I'll be falling left to right. And my leg is working up and down. My right leg is just trailing in the air to help me with the balance. When I'm done with those, I go back to my squats, but this time I do what I call the sumo squat. So you come down, and as you come up, you lift your leg. Come down, and lift the other leg. Again, the idea is, you have to have your core strong, otherwise you lose balance. Looks like this. Okay, when you're done with the squats, we move on to do some core exercises. So I started sit-ups. Sit-ups, the easiest of the exercise, it may seem, but it's not. So you bend your knees, put your hands behind your head, and try to peel yourself off the floor, nice and controlled, without lifting your legs. Try not to use too much of a momentum, engage your core instead, without having your legs anchored. That's the whole idea. That's the way that you exercise your core muscles rather than your leg muscles. Okay, when I'm done with those, I exercise the other side of the abdominal muscle. It's just down through the leg raises. Protect your lower back, so sit down in your hands, legs straight, and lift them. Put your head on the floor so that your back is nice and neutral, and off you go. Nice and controlled. Okay, when I'm done with those, I finish up with twists. You know, so I've been exercising my upper abdominal, lower abdominal, now I'm gonna do side as well, right? So you can do it either with your legs planted on the floor, and the only thing you try to do is twist to the sides as far as you can in a controlled manner. If you want to challenge yourself, lift your legs. Keep them in the air and keep turning. Now, I do about 20 of each, but the final number is really up to you, you know. So start with little, start with little, progress, progress, progress. If you do it every day for the next two or three weeks, you will see the result yourself. Stay home, stay safe, stay fit.